Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we got a system of equations f of negative 7 equals to 8, f of 5 equals to negative 3, and now we are going to find the value of f of x, where f of x is a linear function. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Before we proceed any further, let's talk about linear functions. Linear function could be of this form, f of x equal to mx plus b, where f of x could be written as y. So therefore, the linear function could be of the form y equal to mx plus b as well. And this y equal to mx plus b is also called slope intercept form. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this very first equation f of negative 7 equals to 8. And here I have copied it down. And here we can see our x value is negative 7. So therefore I can write x equal to negative 7. So therefore in this linear function wherever we see x I am going to replace it by negative 7. So therefore this equation could be written as f of negative 7 equal to negative 7m plus b. And we know that f of negative 7 equals to 8. So therefore I'm going to replace it by 8. So therefore this equation could be written as 8 equal to negative 7m plus b. Now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this next equation f of 5 equals to negative 3. And here I have copied it down. And here we can see our x value is 5. So therefore I can write x equal to 5 value. So therefore let's go ahead and substitute x by 5 over here and 5 over here in this linear function. So therefore this function, this equation could be written as f of 5 equals to 5m plus b. And now we know that f of 5 equals to negative 3. So therefore I am going to replace it by negative 3. So therefore this equation is going to become simply negative 3 equals to 5 m plus b. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And here we have come up with our two linear equations as you can see. And here I have copied it down and this represents a system of two equations. Now let's go ahead and solve this system of two equations by using this elimination method to find the m and b value. Therefore, let's go ahead and subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Therefore, let's go ahead and change the sign. This negative become positive, this positive become negative, and this positive become negative as well. So therefore, on the left, 8 plus 3 is going to give us 11 equals to negative 12m. And this positive b and negative b is gone. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 12. So that means our m value turns out to be negative 11 over 12. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute this m equals to negative 11 over 12 value in this equation 1 to calculate the b value now. And here I have copied down this equation 1. Let's go ahead and replace this m by this uh, negative 11 over 12. So 8 equal to negative 7 times uh, negative 11 over 12 plus uh, b. So let's go ahead and simplify. 8 equal to, that's going to become 77 over 12 plus uh, b. Let's move this fraction on the left hand side. So this could be written as 8 minus 77 over 12 equals to b. Now let's focus on this left hand side. 
And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and make it a fraction. Eight could be written as eight over one. Now to get the common denominator, let me go ahead and multiply and divide by 12 on this fraction. And after simplification, it turns out to be 19 divided by 12. So therefore, our B value turns out to be 19 divided by 12. And here's our final step. We finally figured out our B and M values. So let's go ahead and substitute these M and B values in this linear function f of x. And here's our linear function f of x equal to mx plus b. We are going to replace uh, m and b values by these ones. So therefore, our this function f of x could be written as equal to m in our case is negative 11 over 12 times x plus b is 19 divided by 12. So thus our function f of x turns out to be equal to negative 11 over 12 times x plus 19 divided by 12. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.